The question was answered by Victor Schauberger, and he called this process by which the apple tree grows upward biomagnetism. Magnetism moves upward in opposition to the inward and floating electric light from our sun and carries with it all growth of vegetation towards the sun. A forest grows upward against the so-called force of gravity and generates coolness, purifying the air and generating oxygen. Mankind's machines move upward with loud explosion-based technologies that heat, pollute, and destroy to do the same kind of work which nature does with silence, coolness, and purifying regeneration. Schauberger designed implosion turbines which copied the motions of nature and produced unlimited, clean, free energy for the benefit of all mankind. Walter Russell was in agreement with Schauberger's understanding relating to the ubiquitous vortices found throughout nature. Russell also invented free energy technology, which was given to NORAD for the defense of this country, and was later classified and hidden from public knowledge under the guise of national security. Callum Coates has authored many books revealing the world-saving discoveries and inventions created by Victor Schauberger, the naturalist, who studied nature instead of academic theories which he knew to be false. Schauberger and Russell both disagreed with the direction science was taking, which they both foresaw would cause much death, inequality, destruction, war, and pollution around the world. This false science has served to enslave mankind into buying fuels sold at high costs, fighting wars to steal those fuels from weaker countries, and paying interest to the international banking elite who finance all of the murder and mayhem of the military industrial complex whose interest is competitive and profit motivated instead of the cooperative preservation of human life and freedom. Nature's clean engine processes are non-polluting. If man's science was correctly based on the wholeness principle of the two-way motion of nature's ways and processes, then our inventions would not pollute either. Man has exploited the effects of explosion and has disregarded the cause of implosion for which he could begin to clean up his environment and replace the combustion exploding fuels currently being used. This conversion to clean energy would create new industries and give all men power. The issues of war and greed would dissolve with the release of these new technologies. This reasoning through clarity, when understood fully, will help serve to rewrite and re-theorize many of the grave misconceptions around scientific understanding that keeps reinventing pollution-making machines. When the understanding of universal law, natural science, and a living philosophy of giving is applied to the world of men, then the long-desired dream of world brotherhood and sisterhood between all mankind, as envisioned by Walter and Leo Russell, as well as countless others, may at last come to fruition and mankind can save himself from yet another fall of his civilization.